Alright, this one's going to be pretty cool. Just got back home, went on a walk, looked around in a spot that I knew about, close to my house, and I found some pretty unique wood lice today. Now these are the more special out of the colony that I knew about and have been watching. As you see the nice vibrant oranges on that guy right there. That's what we're looking at today. Seems that I got another little guy right there too with him. No problem. There's another one of regular color in there right there. They'll all go together quite nicely in a colony that I'm organizing of all vibrant colors like this. A few regular here and there really isn't going to make much of a difference. So as you see they're a very nice bright orange and gray color. These are super fun to take care of and watch and my hopes are to continuously breed these very nice vibrant looking guys because they are brilliantly done with these colors. I don't quite know if it's where they live that's making this happen or what. See this guy's trying to climb up the plastic. There you go, you can see a little bit better. I want to try to take these guys into the light and give you a better shot. So here we are again. I moved them a little bit so we might be able to pick up those colors a little bit better. What I think I'm going to do is go ahead and try to set this on its side so that perhaps they'll start walking around a little bit differently. There we go. Very, very interesting colors on these. I'll put one out on a, on a display thing here so that you can really see just how those oranges pop. Might just take out the whole thing. Now I normally put my King of the Hill vehicle on this. But I'll go ahead and use this as an exception this time. So that we can really keep an eye on these guys. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and dump out one of these guys and see if we can take a look. At the awesome colors that they have on them. Here's one right here, I'm trying to get a hold of them. And they all came out. So let me try to get a good shot of all these guys before they start going away. So I'm going to have to round them up. <laughs> Not to worry too much, there's only a few here. Very, very nice looking coloration on them. See if we can move that light over them a little bit more. Well, we have one that's getting away. There he goes. Scooped him back up. <laughs> so I believe these are just your standard Armadillidium vulgare. Your regular, everywhere you would see in North America, in your compost, in your garden, in your flower beds. These guys are everywhere. But uh, I've really gotten into the color variations on these, depending on where they live. I think it changes up a bit. Here's a little guy, and this little guy I probably won't be able to scoop up. Let's use my lid to coax him over to the edge, and back into the jar he goes. So now it looks like there's only one out on the table, so we'll take a look at him. And is he a colored one or is he a regular one? This one appears to be unique. I haven't been able to find too many colors of these yet, but every color variation I find, I'm very happy about. So, got him back in the jar. I'll give you another view. So that's going to wrap it up for this short video. I hope you like the earth and critters as much as I do. Go out there and look around. If you're interested in the care of these, these are typical wood lice, isopods, roly polies.